Prince Harry's stupid bragging about how he killed 25 Taliban while serving with the Royal Marines in Afghanistan has painted a target on his back as well those of his family, a former British Army officer has warned. Stuart Crawford also accused the Duke of Sussex of besmirching the military community, and said it was indicative of the 37-year-old's lack of judgment. Harry's claims are contained in his new memoir, Spare, which is published New Week, but which express. Co.uk has obtained a copy of In Spanish. At one point he writes that in the era of Apaches and laptops, he was able to say with exactness how many he had killed. He added, and it seemed to me essential not to be afraid of that number. So my number is 25. It's not a number that fills me with satisfaction, but nor does it embarrass me. His revelation left Mr. Crawford, who served in the Royal Tank Regiment for two decades, retiring at the rank of Lieutenant Commander, deeply unimpressed. He told Express.co.uk, the claims of the number of people he claims to have killed are just appallingly poor form. It's just not what you do. And then to sort of denigrate it further by saying that they were just pieces on a chessboard which had to be swept away is very dismissive of human life and I find that really disappointing. First of all, he has besmirched his military reputation, and let's be fair, he did two tours and Afghanistan so he has been on operations, because, in many ways has disrespected the dead. I don't think you'll find many soldiers who would disrespect the dead enemy. It was already obvious, judging by the reaction from former soldiers including Tory MP Bob Stewart, who today described the remarks as distasteful, that many in the military took a similarly dim view, Mr. Crawford pointed out. Many, for example Normandy veterans, locked away such memories rather than openly publicizing them, he stressed, adding, we can argue whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that they are locked away but I just think what I don't understand is what he thought that was going to achieve. It's bragging but why? He must feel very inadequate. Mr. Crawford then highlighted a second, more practical consideration. Reveal, he explained, the other thing is that Hess basically painted a big target on his back and worse than that, a big target on the backs of his immediate family. I don't know how far the tentacles of the Taliban might stretch around the world. But in the past they have been in cahoots with some very fairly unsavory individuals and organizations like Al-Qaeda and ISIS I think Hess going to find himself almost in the position that Salman Rushdie found himself in, where Hess always going to be looking over his shoulder. And they got to Rushdie in the end. It must have taken them, I don't know, 20 years and of course we know where he lives. Harry was in many ways the architect of his own downfall but had his kids and his wife Meghan Markle in the firing line, Mr. Crawford claimed. He added, it was a very, very stupid thing to do. I think the boys lost it. If you look at all the stuff that has done over the years, and this is perhaps the latest iteration, it all speaks to me of a lack of judgment. The Nazi uniform at the fancy dress party, calling one of his colleagues at Sandhurst a pee, telling everybody he had sex for the first time in a field. Why wouldn't you say that? His kids will read all this stuff when they grow up. I've got three kids and I am very careful not to say anything publicly that's ever going to embarrass them. Referring to the recent rash of publicity leading up the publication of the book on Tuesday, he continued, he's not just said it once, 
He spouted it in interviews, it's all me, me me, look at me, look at me, you know, everybody's doing things to me. This is a quotation from Macbeth, there is a quotation from Macbeth, I am in blood, stepped in so far, that, should I wade no more, returning were as tedious as go o'er. In other words there is no point in turning back. If I were advising him, which of course I won't, because I don't think he listens to people who come up with a contrary view and these people tend to surround themselves with yes men and acolytes who nod and say whatever you want, but if I was advising him, I'd say, stop, get out of California, take your nice family and go somewhere like Montana or Oklahoma, away from all the glitz, away from all the cameras, and just live a normal life for a couple of years. But I think Hess addicted to it and I think his wives addicted to it as well. Express.co.uk has contacted Prince Harry for comment via Archul.